This excerpt was taken from the Full and Bloom interview with Badlands bassist Greg Chasen. You can listen to the entire interview at fullandbloom.com. Do you keep in touch with Eric? No, nope. oh, not okay. at all. That's on his anatomy for something that I didn't do. But Eric's kind of a stubborn guy, so he's decided that he's still going to be mad at me. And I can't control that. I'd like nothing more than to be friends with him. But if he wants to be mad at me, then have at it. Why is he mad at you? It would take too long to go into. It's over some, something that was said in, in print that was credited to me that I didn't say. And when I tried to explain to Eric that I didn't say that, I just wasn't going to hear it. Um, I know that uh, we have some mutual friends. He doesn't hold me in high esteem, so whatever. And this is, I'm assuming this is, it sounds like it's after he left the band, correct? Well, we became friends after he left. We didn't get along at all while we were in the band together until the very end. And then after, we didn't like each other at all. And uh, I used to flip a coin every week. I'd beat the hell out of Eric and get kicked out of the band or put up with Eric's crap. I, I would annoy him. He would annoy me. And it's not his fault or my fault. We just didn't jive. We just did not get along. He didn't get what I was doing. I didn't care what he was doing. And through that, we managed to make a really great record. And, you know, um, our road manager at the time would come up to me and say, you know, people come to see Badlands to see Jake and Ray. And they go away from Badlands thinking how great Jake and Ray is, but also how great the rhythm section is. And he goes, that's, he goes, that's a high compliment. Yeah. And so even if we didn't get along, um, we played together great. And we eventually were friends, and we got along great. We did my solo record, and he played great on it. I think he's a great drummer. He's actually a really good singer, too. And like I said, he's mad at me, and I can't control <laughs> It's like this, Adam. You want to be mad at me, I can't stop you. I And if Eric wants to be mad at me, I can't stop him. I wish we were friends, but we're not, so whatever. Sure. So I wish him, I wish him the best. He's a big rock star and a millionaire, and I'm a guy that runs a guitar store and, you know, has a good time being a musician. I'm sure he's happy. I'm happy, and I wish him nothing but the best. If Eric came up to me, I'd be more than happy to talk to him, but I'm not going to spend one second worrying about it. Great uh, drummer, though. Yeah, man. I, I, I wouldn't have thought that for a second. It, both of you guys seem like you're uh, super laid back cats. So, And then especially a drummer and a bass player, man, who are supposed to lock in with each other. It seems uh, that must have been hell if it would have uh, been a pain in the nah, ass. Nah, I like the fact that you said laid back cats. You know, then Eric is the cat, you know, and Kiss. So I, that wasn't lost on me. The way that we did that record is Eric just played Jake. He didn't spend any time paying attention to me that's the way he does it anyway he's more focused on the guitar player and what i did is i just once eric started playing the thing consistently i just tailor made my bass parts to go with what he what he was playing it wasn't like we sat down and wrote anything out it's just him playing with jake and then me figuring out what he was doing and then me playing to it <laughs> 